Very soon, both teens will be back with their own families. Hopefully, with a few life lessons under their belt. I respect that Ada's like, she wants to get somewhere in life, like, she wants to be something, like, she wants to go to university and that. When I compare our lives here, I feel a bit outdone. I don't know. It makes me think that I should probably do something with my life. Over the last week, I would say that I have grown up a little bit, learning to respect people and the things that they do. So, yeah, I'll probably have to make a few changes when I get home. Have a good flight and I'll see you in Australia. After a week of ups and downs in Singapore, our teenagers are getting ready to go home to Australia. I didn't really ever believe that people actually lived like this, with, like, so much importance, like, put on school and everything. Like, that at the start, I just thought everyone lived like I do. <laughs> hey, guys, are you all ready? During this short time, I really see hope because I see them trying to do something better than what they normally do. do. So this is for? Getting up. We're having a great time, remember? Oh. <laughs> Will you watch for them? Yeah, I'm going to miss you guys too. You guys have been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Miss you too. <laughs> yeah, over the last week, I got to know Ada pretty well. She's a really nice girl. And if I lived in Singapore, I'd want to be her friend. Yeah. <laughs> This has been a very enriching experience for us, uh, supporting those two teenagers to try to just become better adults as they grow in their years. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, Zane. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, thanks for everything. Right. See you in Australia. Right. Yeah. <laughs>